Hi, today let's talk about the door. Oruji, eh? the door in my accent. What is the most important thing on Noah's ark? The ark was so big, it had three decades. But the most important thing is the door. Genesis chapter 6 verses 13. Put a door in the side of the boat and make a lower da 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 da. Put a door. Number two. Why did God put only one door on that big ark? Because Jesus Christ is the only way. The only way to eternal life. Did you know that Jesus Christ is the second Noah's ark? The Bible says people were eating. Matthew 24 verses 38. For in the days before the flood, people were eating, marrying, eh? enjoying life, giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Actually, the Bible says God waited. 1 Peter 3 verses 20. Eh? God's patience waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared in which a few just a few, that is eight persons, were brought safely through the water. God has been waiting for you. That door was open for some time, but at some point it closed. There are some people that think, I will go anytime. Someday it will close. There are some people who keep coming into Jesus and then they leave. Like the five foolish virgins. They were inside. Then they moved out. By the time they came back, the door was locked. Like someone. You come to church, you go to nightclubs, you come to church, you go and do other things. Why don't you stay inside? Also, you need to know that Noah is not the one in charge of the door. Yes, the Bible says God himself closed the door. Yes, this is Genesis 7, 13, 16. Noah was in the boat and God shut it. So when the floods came, and you knock, no one can't open for you. God himself closed it. But for now, whether you've killed somebody, you were murderer, whatever you've done, that door is still open. Celebrities, wise people. Some people say, I'm too good, I've done good things. We all have good people, good uncles, good aunties, but good is not enough. Like my mom, my, my, my friend, Mama Fina, the head of witch doctors here in Uganda. She's a good person, she helps many people. But if she does not kulokoka, she doesn't give her heart, her goodness. So don't just be good. You must enter into the door. Also, Jesus Christ is not just the door to eternal life, but also the door to testimonies, amazing life, peace, miracles, healings, testimonies, and wonders. Are you into this door? Have you entered this door? Jesus Christ is the door on Noah's ark. Please come in and you'll be safe. We have doors as we enter our houses. Every place you be, there is a door. Because of their sin. And so God was angry. And he decided to wipe away the entire world. Something he said that he would never do again. With a sign of a rainbow. So he searched around for any man who could hear him that he could work with. God still does that. He can come in your family and is looking for a man or a woman he can work with. However bad the family might be, God can't fail to find one. So he found Noah. So point number one, God still can come in a place looking for someone he can work with. I remember when you were growing up in church, the pastors always made us make prayers that are rare these days. We used to pray prayers like, Lord, send me, I will go. Lord, use me, I'm here. Whom shall I send? We, we used to read a lot of that uh, Isaiah 6, 8. Right? Yes, Isaiah 6, 8. Whom shall I send? So though the world was corrupt, 
prayer. Online church and you guys. Nothing. Come on. Say, dear Lord. Dear. If you're looking for someone to send, here I am. Looking for someone to work with. I volunteer. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands. God can use you too. He can use you. Amen. Actually, Noah was not a very perfect man. He was also having a problem of alcohol. He could drink a lot of wine. That tells us how bad the world had become corrupt. That the only person he could find was Noah. He was not perfect. Point number two, God uses not perfect people too. It can work with them. We, different preachers, different men and women of God, they also struggle with different things. I also struggle with some things. Noah had alcohol. Job had issues with his eyes. Even his soul could, could forget the things of God and, and he could just start to preach it, to preach to it that, hey, my soul, praise the Lord, don't forget. Isaiah had a problem with his tongue, with his mouth. One day God had to bring a hot coil to put it on his tongue. Pardon, Pastor. One day God had to bring a hot coil to put on his tongue. Praise the Lord. Amen. God uses not perfect people. The only perfect person that God used was Jesus. He was blameless. He was a lamb without any, 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 any lamb. He grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor. Before God and before men. But all the others, they had issues. Only Jesus was the perfect one. The good Lord. If you love the gospel, let your hands and your eyes show. Amen. Michael was sharing with Pastor Wilfred yesterday that after COVID, God told me, teach my people. I'll open your ears and I'll open your eyes to see the Bible, to understand. Teach them in the prayer waves. Let them understand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, so, so now, point number one, even in a, a, a corrupt world, God can't fail to find the one to work with. So God can use you. The best word could be God can work with you. God is like the president. If you met President Museven today and you ask for a job, he can't fail to find you somewhere. He's the, the president. He can, he can send you anywhere in the nation or even he can make you an ambassador. He's the, 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 the president. Am I talking to you? Amen. Even when you go to God, he can't fail to put you somewhere. He can work with you. And when we were growing up in church, we rarely had, okay, we prayed about miracles and money and what, but by then the church was more into the heart of God. Lord, what do you want to do in our city? Lord, what do you want to do in our family? The summons were more about repentance and the will of God. 
Lord, forgive us. Lord, use us. And I remember we used to even go to the prayer mountain and that would be the prayer. Send me, O Lord. Use me, O Lord. And look, God found somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere where he could send us. Though sometimes we narrow the sending part. We think if you say, God, use me, you are saying, Lord, I want to be a preacher. No, God has so many ways of using you. Actually, mine was not to be a preacher. Mine, I wanted to be like the guy who adopted me from. Stambogo. Not actually even very rich, a rich heart. Donated some of the prayer mountain land. Where most of you have gone and thank God for Apostle John Mulinde. Amen. Amen. So God Katonda finds a war a, 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 a corrupt world. Cor uh, corrupt Kind of your family. Look at them. They don't do church. They don't do the things of God. They make parties and buy all the, the beer in the, near, in the neighborhood. They sleep with anyone they want. They fight each other. Incest. Incest. Some families have incest. Incest. Amen. Amen. Look at them. There is no difference between the days of Noah and our days. They kill each other. You wake up in the morning and so and so has been shot dead on the, uh, in cold blood. In our generation today. Am I preaching to you? Amen. Look at all the wars all over. You know, there is a war in Ukraine and Russia. There is, a, I mean, Russia in Ukraine. There is here Congo. There is war in, now in Israel and, and, and the Hamas. There is wars everywhere. But it's the same shed of blood and forgiveness. That's what was happening in the days of Noah. People are bought and they're not sorry. People leave their wives at home and and do whatever they want to do. It's, it's the same. Marriages don't stand. People get married and just after seven months or three years, they don't care. They marry another. They, you know, I have a brother of mine who told me that uh, his brother was introducing and I'm like, you didn't go and he said, no, I'm done with that. That's the seventh. <laughs> I went to three. I've had, I've had girls find out that the man in his house was introducing and they see a picture. They see photos of the man who slept at house at the house introducing another. Can you imagine receiving photos that, hey, isn't this your husband? And it's the muko. He lives in the morning to go for his introduction. So you look at the days of Noah and our days. There is no difference. Murder. That's why the Bible says the world had become corrupt. In Genesis chapter 6. Now God says to Noah, I will work with you. You and I are going to do something together. I want you to build for me, to build for me an ark. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verses 11 of Genesis 6. Build a land. Now God saw that earth had become corrupt and was filled with violence. 
God observed that all the corruption in the world for everyone on earth was corrupt. So God said to Noah, for somebody here. Come on, people. Amen. God is an engineer. Brought, he brought all the, 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 the measurements needed. This, this boat was a storage boat. Someone say amen. Amen. The Bible says, you bring different animals. Then you shall put a door on the south of the boat. Now I want you to see something. That this big ark that had three decades, which means Praise the Lord. Amen. God gave Noah all the details. It is very important when we are talking to God to listen carefully. To listen carefully. And I can see Noah say, wait, 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 God. I need a pen. Now, this point is not for all of you, it's for some of you. He said, how many feet high? He said, I said, a boat that is 450 feet long, then Noah goes 450, 70 feet wide, 45 feet high, Listen to 16. Leave an 18 inch opening below the roof. Uh, okay, so, uh, 18 inch opening. I want you to understand that if God is talking to you, pay close attention. He's so detailed, even with the smallest details. God can tell you, stop talking to that person. There's a time God told me, stop saying sorry to that person. Sorry. Because I had said sorry many times and God told me, stop. If his heart is not forgiving, you've done your part. How can God tell you to stop saying sorry? He said, yeah, now you're looking like you, you, it. Can you imagine God was talking to me about that? He's like, where it was the mirundi ejimara, kusonyiwa. The Lord told me to stop. God is detailed. God is, come on, people. God is concerned. Come on, people. You have said sorry for a very long time. It is okay. This person is also born again. Can you imagine? God is interested in every height, every cubit, every, every, come on. He's interested. God can tell you, God can tell you, don't, don't wear that dress. God can tell you, change that lipstick. God can tell you, that's not your hair. Change it before you go for that interview. God is so detailed, even with your shoe, your dress, your shirt, your coat. Amen. I have had people say, 
I dreamt you when you came to our church eight years ago in a blue shirt. And that day I'm wearing a blue shirt. Eight years ago, he showed somebody me putting on a blue shirt, and eight years later, in my wardrobe, I pick a blue shirt so I can go and confirm the dream. Pay attention to the details, Noah. Do you know they even told him? the type of wood. Because you can easily use another wood and then the boat capsizes when the flood starts. God is interested in every detail. Even the type of wood that was to be used. Even the side where the door should be, it should be in the south. Are you here today? Amen. That's why no one makes me feel bad because there is a time back in the day I was like, I was like, there was a time I was wondering and asking God why didn't you plant our church in Kololo the father to Pastor Mike their church is in the middle of the city ours is in Nansana the, it, a, a village that is over abused amazingly you take it to Kololo it dies but you bring it to Nansana and it grows the same thing applies in your life God wants you to listen to the details and I'm, I'm going to say that a little more. You see all the people that work with me. Uh, and leaders will understand this. Florence, listen. One of the biggest challenges I've found in my leadership as a team leader. People don't listen. They don't pay attention to the details. And let me tell you something very bad about our God. He's a king. Kings don't talk many words. It's not very bad. It's challenging. Are you alive? Amen. You can go to God and ask him, God, I have three men. Can I choose one? And God says, none, none of the three. And, phew, he's king. And he's a busy king. You remain there fasting about the issue that Kabaka, you told you about. Kings don't speak a lot. He will tell you where you're going and going somewhere and he tells you not to go. Samuel had to beseech him. He had to beseech him. He had to beseech him. He to beseech him. When you ask your father to go, if he does not reply, that is or the father to go. Or he's asking you to wait a little. I am so amazed at the people that I work with. In a professional world, because a volunteer, Balunji. Never volunteer in the leadership of Matawanya. To is a Mugoba. Katonori, a volunteer. 
Nebu avunu la kasa siro. Tu ino mwe baza kwa volunteer. Bano bonda bola bano ba richa di ba sega wa bonda ba volunteer. Katimu kama tutu se kulevo ngatu sasula. Saika ni fire and higher. It's a very good thing in leadership. Ngabola ba kumulimo. Amen. Ngabasolo kugamba chewa kuzi tu kugobi. Nebu na bonda betu kola ano ba tu yambako. Katibako la majani, omugobodi, omusasula. Katika tunda ya kuntu sako yule vumri ni ya Yesu. Namba baby umama mbagobi, mwabaka me na mbagobi, kamfuno mlala, anti insasula. Ne katibu na bono uba uba gobodi, bono ba zia ba tu yambako. Katika baka. Now the king. Abake, semani roachi mukero kuri dechi kamba mchea galamu kamba amin. Katonda Kabaka. The Lord is a king. Kabaka tayogera nyo. A king does not talk anyhow. Aizo kugambe chigambe chinga chikeno no chuso vulambo. Boteke ni za chiku itako. Ya kabila ni isiraidi ya gamba laba isiraidi. Te yamanya bidobi ya kuchari la kuwayo. He's a king. Te yedingana. He does not repeat himself. Let us clap for Noah because he was able to get the details. What do you think? Now you are going to go to Kokaton. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that your boss? I know that your boss is a parking lot. A red. Can ask you to go to the parking and get him a red car. Katibo bo full ma boat. As you getting out. As as you getting out. Naga na yeye but ole se moto kachinti ya ya white. You find someone they ask they ask you which car. Nenga be a red. You be like I've brought a white car, but yet I told you. Wembadi zia ni sanga kayo. You are like, oh, when I was coming, I met a kayo. Actually, we put some kona. Ne ma ikona confirming that nero di nwarimu white. Kati tu ina abantu nga uli diza malobo zimaj. Kati mo professional waru di bichi gobia. We have people that listen to very many voices. For not having the ear. In the professional world, you can be easily sacked or robbed. But abana. Baku gambi, ma iko ya gambi, ya gala ko ambala koti ya bululero. Mike wanted to put on a black. Ati na dalanga bossu wa moyo. Ne koti katunda hizo kwa jimu lazima kusaba. Most especially. Ne because you are not a listener. Ne kubanga tole mtoa wuli risa. Or you listen to many others. Obo wuli risa bala lavanji. Kana te fabari busy. Nizo kwa njia jeni no kuweza. Ne mbaga ma mtere me sati wait ne ngato wait ne gundi wait. Ne ne sibi tunula na ko. That are busy, you may not even look at what you tell them to put in for you. Then the cassettes of. Ngendo tu kaku mukole mbalala neva kakele mumpe bintu ngavale se the opposite, opposite. No buza Richard, ati ati chacho na gamba na yezina la bienga nechi no chisinga chidi. No vida nga singo zuno mutu gogo muobu tuwa chimu kubibi. Saga. Amen. Even the Lord wants people that listen. Amen. 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 Totu mama wewe zavadi yao, already mulaze kwe. Iba mbiti matengi dechika. Kwe kwe mulaze. I've shown him to you, Ananias. Chineke zama iko loa imiri tewano. Oba pastor si ari wabu game. Kato nda yatengi se kwe, na yatengi kanono, yatengi se jasi. Ira manyo ba wira kwa gama, nze jasi ya mbuli di robo lunji, nze henu le simu tegera, nze maiko gwe ntegera, nze guni neda, it's not about you, it's about him. Amen. Come on, clap your hands if I'm talking to you tonight. It's not about he, you, it's about him. Pay to, pay that, get, get a cypress tree. Bobo kina kula liato. Nua nechi kachomuti. Even the kind and type of wood he was told. 
A good listener serves the Lord. A good listener. Out of 10,000, just get 1,000. Out of 1 million, get back 100,000 and bring it back. Who remains with the march? Who remains with the march? I have one friend of mine. They're talking about a friend who was in prison. The, a tithe is sharing well with your boss. Hello, Balenge, they are coming to the church. Examples of Tanya. Nayava, Biba, never bossiva. Thieves also have their bosses. Botebaja, Bobby, Mamani, Mari, Wedi, Nevaque Mundu, Nevaga Gendo, Catibo Gijayo, Bumutu, Camino, Tula, Mugava, Nebulu. They will direct you where you're supposed to go and do the work. So when you come back, you're supposed to go. Well. There are some who are greedy. That is the reason as to attend the end of the tithe. Why is the Lord asking you for a tithe? Yakuzikida or Molimo. Is because he finds you a job. Yakuzikirida. He finds you a job. Omurimu. Yakua manya gazukuka. He gives you the power to wake up. Yakua appetite. He gives you the appetite. Yakua favor. He gives you the favor. Mwari avantubina. You are 400 people. Sivio ye yaitam. It is your CV that was able Wari to. Wari avamunga nejemuko la temusani la yo. Some of you where you work, you're not even worthy of. Katibuwe muma loko la ngagamba jangu tu gabane. So after working, he asks that you come and. Na yo loko ba kwa gare chinene che chicho, e chitono che chiche. Kumirio ni kumi ya ya galake emu. Omwe. Because he loves you, he takes the smallest and delivers. But still, on that, you also refused. Even even testify that they don't understand the amount of church that they have been in. Even even testify that they don't understand everything about the time. Out of two hundred thousand, just give it to the thousand and give it to the Lord. Share well with your boss. I'm going to say, "But we're going to do it. 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 We're going Over Nansana, no gena mchibugo okole. Mali wava mchibuga na jen Nansana. You come from Nansana and go to the city and then there is... Over Ntinda, no gendo okola. Echibuye, jo inomulimo. Ate wali wa atafa na Ntinda. Wenyini nyini. Chumula wa gamba guwebo marango okola. That is why he says, after you work, I need two things from you. Out of, after the six days, come on the seventh day to worship me. You come on the seventh day to worship me. So what we have done, if you get five million, you bring back the five hundred. You go with the four hundred and fifty. The tithe. That is the tithe. These days the Lord told me to explain you to you this thing. I've got a lot of people who are not innocent. I've got a lot of people who are not innocent. I've got a lot of people who are And the people that have the money don't give the tithe. They have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. And they have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. I have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. And they have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. And they have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. And they have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. And they have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. So pay attention to the details. And they have a thinking that it is their power and their wisdom, so the money cannot go anywhere. The spirit works just like the way he works once. Eh eh. Zedenyo senga wange, senga wange yantu alakomu sabo. 
Long ago, my aunt took me to a shrine. We are very young. We had very many problems. They call me after a long time one Nagamba, day this is the eh, on yatu debubi, yatu demukubo. <laughs> Wari wana akatuli nga kai ingizo kai ingizo musana njoke na mazima nani mwana mtuna yimbi jukina wali waka tuli nga kai ingizo musana nga muita mu already try to tit the musabo mube nzikiza mukanisa mube chitanga there is a lot of darkness in the shrine but there is light in the church tulibana bato tutinde very afraid and scared that is another aka tuli then i saw a small hole nga nga wafa yaka sana katene yeweru and there was a light nzikiza yimbi jito is a lava there is always that is the name focusing on our internal level. So me, I focused. I focused on that small hole, so I was able to see the Mama, light. The demon was upset at that small hole where the light was going And it was covered. Hey, 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 so it was we thank the Lord who brought us from the devil. We thank the Lord who took us away from the devil. Amen. We thank the Lord who took us away from the devil. Amen. We thank the Lord who took us away from the devil. Amen. We thank the Lord who took us away from the devil. Amen. We thank the Lord who took us away from the devil. Amen. We thank the Lord who took us away from the devil. Amen. Whatever you want in church, because the Lord can tell someone not to sit in a certain place. To sit somewhere else. Amen. The Lord can even stop you from greeting someone. He can stop you from greeting someone just for them to know that I am not happy with them. He sent a prophet and told him go to that place and don't eat their food. Just give them my message and turn and come back. Do you know the food that is prepared in a palace? It is always sweet food. The prophet was told not to eat. The prophet his power was not in eating. Na biya waga mukama gambi simu sanyu fumu kore muti tigwe ba de sebu tuwe kumere. Mmm. Nge njala ne muluma tuwe kumazi. Mmm. Oya kala chakuli mmm. Mukama ya mukama mukwe kanda gamu emuli message. The Lord told him that action is where the message was. Katere longe zekule vuna. Mwaba kera no mufu nebi gambo vidala mu. Mwe mwari message mukuga ne mere. In refusing to eat, that is where the message was. And if you are a person who is full of self pity, you may fail to be next to a king. Good morning, king. King has all of You can greet the king and he refuses to reply you. Good morning. You can even take a moment to reply you. Do you leave the palace because of that? So pay attention to the details, Noah. Before leaving church, before changing that, that before job, getting married or marrying someone, before going to another city or nation, be sure that you know exactly what the Lord wants before renting that house. Before chasing away someone from your home, you can chase away someone from your home, yet that person has the grace to help you in your family. You can chase away someone from your home, yet that person has the grace to help you in your family. I have people that chased me away. They are now ashamed to ask for any help because they are away. So don't just chase away people because of the smallest things. First, inquire from the Lord. Even those that hire I even know how to when I'm going for a journey the Lord tells me who is going to drive me that day the car fails to settle and they tell me pastor we are late I said pastor I'm not going to 
Zimbagamba chimugundi ya bavuga. Musumbari wala tuja mulinda. Nina nebe ngambi mmoto kavamu. Tujia agenda nafu. People ask not to go Kulaji. with me. Why? Conviction. Because of the conviction. Katupapo ine intondo. If you are someone with self-pity. Ah, chinunja wa nina nye ulefu ndo za bajiva kwa mkwa na iva musigala. Kayamba deno ya keda atude. Mm. Nile iva musigala. Kugambi rubali ya gano kujia Nti walu watudu mkobubi Walu na akatuli So pay attention Katifa yonyo Amen Amen Katunda afayo ne kuchitete icho yambani Katunda afayo ne kumvidi zosara Katunda God is a sign of a dove and doves are sensitive. God is a king. They don't know that some says I've been in your name. God is a king. I repeat, our God is a what? A king. Kings behave a certain way. Actually, Pastor, kings don't explain. They don't owe an explanation to anybody. They are kings. So, just for the sake of the sermon, come on. If you were blessed today, clap your hands. Amen. Amen. Have one minute. Amen. So, God tells Noah, put a door. Now, I need to give you a few logic questions here. Number one. How many doors did the ark have? How many? One door. Clap for yourselves, class. It was what? Was the ark small? Sorry? It was a very huge? It was a huge boat. But God gave it only one door. And then we said he's an engineer. When we are building a church, anything that is going to accommodate many people should have many exits and entries. This ark was in decades, three decades. But God gave it only one door. Another question. Why would God give such a huge ark only one door? Do you think he's stupid? He knows exactly what he's doing. This is when you understand why. Noah said there is a flood coming. By the way, Gologosa, in case you don't know, there is a flood coming. It's called hell. Praise God. Amen. So when Noah built the ark, he did it for over 100 years, I think. Not even a drop of a rain. These people were not used to rain at all. And there was no sign of a rain. So Noah shouting and saying there is there is a flood coming. It looked stupid. He and his wife, Shem, Ham, and eh? Ham, Ham, Shem, and there were three boys. And their wives. Eh? The third boy is eh? Jephthah. Ah. <laughs> Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. And their wives. They built the ark. People called him stupid, crazy, gone mad, uh, not on, on fashion, not modern. 
everything you can call a committed Christian. But Noah said the rain is coming. God is going to wipe away this city. Our sins have reached him. He has had enough. So the rain starts to come. So in the beginning it was a testimony. The rain is here after me. But the rain continued to rain. It would drain day and night. Praise the Lord. The rain can refuse to stop raining. So for it to stop is a miracle. When the Lord saw that the rain was enough. Look, look the Bible says. I need to read it. Something you need to not see. Here. Eh? This is verses uh, Genesis 7 and verses um, 16. A male and female of each kind of animals and birds entered the ark just as God had commanded Noah. Listen, can you hear then the Lord closed the door behind them. Class, who closed the door? Louder, who closed the door? Who, who, is it Noah? Talk to me, church. Is it Noah? Who closed the door? God. Not Noah. Sin Noah. Not Noah. That is where the issue is. The rain became a problem. It started to go up. Swallowed houses. Their hearts. They don't know how to swim. It was too much if a rain. Started to die. The only thing they had could go to was the ark. But even if you swim your way to the ark, the door is closed. Even if you don't know individually, you even borrowed him some money. You knock. No conkona. No you're even supposed to pay me kindly open. However much Noah loved you dearly, the problem was one. It was not him that closed the door. Who closed the door? Who closed the door? God. Now, if you are alive, say I'm alive. Amen. So here is the problem. That door was once open. For many years. But they didn't go. They said we are They were like those are crazy things. They are mad and insane. Until when the flood came. But the problem is now the door is closed. I was talking to some member of our church. She had a very good conversation with a former member of our church. A former member of our church had a very good conversation with a very good enemy of our church. That's a sermon for another day. It's called Evil's Conversations with a Snake. Be aware those conversations still go on. When you go and have a very good conversation 
with a snake. That was the trouble that brought Eden down. How many people you've heard say whether they are with their friends in the town in the village and the conversation somehow turns to their family people immediately shut them off we can talk about everything we can talk about everything but with my father kindly stop don't even talk about my mother why? Because they don't want to hold conversations of a snake upon their families. Hallelujah. Amen. You should do the same. When the snake wants to talk with you. So because this is a good member of our church. She was a bit bothered by bringing the celebrities here and giving them a Chance. And, and some preacher had told the other person how this is not good. Well, I said to our member, I have one answer for you. What is the most important thing on Noah's ark? However big it was. The nice timber. No. Was it the, 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 the size? No. Was it the builder Noah? No. What was the most important thing on the earth? Talk to me. It is that door. Clap for yourself. Amen. Number two. Was the door still open? For a long time. So if a witch doctor wants to come in. If God has not closed the door yet. Come on, Noah, you have no power to chase the witch dogs. If a celebrity wants to come in, it is not you with the powers to close that door. Amen. If fornicators want to come in, if people that were aborting want to come in. People are running from a flood. They want to check out the ark. You have no power. No Asha has power. No Reverend has power. No preacher has power. No choir member has power. To close the door at the sinners. No one. So I said to our member. Leave the door open. I remember the one day. I'll be, guys, I'll be done in, in three minutes. Amen. Someone say, clap for the door. Clap for the door. Come Amen. on. Come on, clap for the door. One day. My aunties bought a TV. A TV set for my grandmother. And they put it for her in the village. And they showed her the channels. They said this one. Book a day. Book a day. NTV. NTV. BBS. BBS. NBS. NBS. Then my grandmother being a Christian said. Where are the Christian channels? No, don't mind. This is LTV. LTV. By then, Lighthouse TV. Say, okay, okay. The others are Zungu, Nyona, Lighthouse, and okay. Now, on Lighthouse TV, LTV, there was a program called, was it called Fast Forward? 
fast forward it was a program of this rock music amen so the music goes the hair the tattoos grandma called us didn't you say this tv is the christian one tv Understanding how you yingi dem. I'm not trying to tattoo. Now we got judge. We are looking at They told our granny that those are born again, and she wondered because she thought they were singing for the devil. My first cultural shock. I went to a certain conference. In a conference, they are going to meet. I think we are in America or somewhere. And where I was seated in the church, there was a guy. His cap was looking back. The entire body was tattooed. Hallelujah. A snake tattoo. He tried to change it, but it, it failed. And I was seated behind him. During worship. Stands up. Me, I didn't pray. My eyes were on this guy. Then during worship. He started to cry. I love you, Jesus. Until I realized. This door is still open. Oh no, people. Are no one. Church, let me ask you again. Who closed the door? Who closed the door? No one. Has the power. To tell you you are divorced three times. Don't enter. You can't keep a marriage. Don't enter. If God has left the door open. Come you sinners lost and lonely. Jesus blood can cleanse you. Praise God! Doing here at the worship house, this is how to give. For MTN Mobile Money, the number is 0776 122 122. It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. And if you'd like to use a merchant code for MTN, it is star 165 star 3 star 316 523 star. Enter the amount and then hash. For Airtel Money, the number is 0758. 973009. It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. Airtel Merchant Code users, you dial star 185 star 9 star 116 2616 star. You enter the amount and then hash. If you'd like to do a direct bank transfer, we have an account in Diamond Trust Bank. It's in the name of the Worship House. Uh, the account number is 015106 For Opportunity Bank, the account number is 120. 391-70-71111. It's also in the name of the worship house. Thank you and God bless you. Hello guys, thank you so, so much for praying with us today. I hope you were blessed. This service was designed to bless your life. Uh, make sure that the next time that you come, you come with a relative, a sibling, a friend, and you enjoy the service. Your life will not remain the same. Yeah, the blessing of the Lord will follow you all the days of your life. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.